Hey, do you want to hear a secret? I put women's clothing on when I was a kid. I once shot myself in second grade. I destroyed a picture of someone else's art because it looked better than mine. I lied about shitting myself in second grade. It was actually seventh. Hope you are prepared now because we're gonna learn more uncomfortable things about myself in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Ollie Mori and welcome to Seizure Art. So our little activity today is going to be somewhat confronting. We're going to dive into someone else's psyche and divulge their innermost secrets and find out what their true nature of their feelings are. And by someone else, I mean me, because I literally have no one else. Today what we're going to do is we're going to inside out myself. <laughs> That sounded more perverted than I thought. <laughs> yes, Inside Out has become one of my favorite animated movies, and to show my appreciation, I'm gonna draw my versions of five main personifications of my emotions. I say my versions as in my emotions are different from the ones in the movie. My version of joy and sadness are very different and I wouldn't necessarily call them that myself. This is becoming a very narcissistic sort of a video. Meh, that's just my fear talking. So yeah, let's get started. Hello, so here I'm going to be talking about um, the process of illustrating these characters. Uh, on top of that, I'll be explaining why these characters look the way they do, like, each one is specific and unique. So, first of all, I'm laying down the sketch work. The sketching is always fun for me, because you always, you always have a lot of freedom, and for some reason, everything looks really good when it's just roughed out. Um, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just the, the, yeah, the, the lines or something, I don't know. For the other artists that are listening, we all dread that moment when we put the final line work in and it looks crappier than the actual sketch. No, but here I'm going to be working with a, a couple of um, traditional mediums, uh, but um, right now uh, I'm working with... Um, I'm not going to be work putting down any line art at all, any like inking or any outline or wh whatever. It, uh, the, the only ink I'll be working with is uh, Copic markers. I'm going to be putting Copic marker um, underneath and then over the top I'll, I'll put uh, pencil work, pencil colouring. I'm going to colour the rest of it in pencil. I didn't realise it towards the end but I ended up drawing each member of my family on the page. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. My subconscious was like, well, okay, well, um, I'm out of ideas so just draw the people you know. <laughs> I must have been very influenced by them. No, but I, I was like, seriously, okay, what are these emotions like if they were humanized? And I don't know if you noticed, but I made these interpretations more human-like than the ones in the movie. I felt like they, I felt like they would be more relatable um, that way. Well, that's bound to turn out great when you're drawing inspiration from your own family. <laughs> so we're nearly at the coloring stage. I'm just going to explain what each emotion is as I color each one in and um, why they look like that. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I'm making this a big deal. Maybe it's the fact that uh, I'm showing you parts of me that I, I think I shouldn't show you on social media. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna explain these characters. So first I'm gonna introduce you to not sadness. Each one of these emotions has a different name, but they're very similar to the um, other ones in the main movie. So I call this little awkward blueberry cringe because, you know, Sadness's job was to help Riley remember and learn from the from her past mistakes. I think always, and I feel like the way I learned by remembering everything is just by cringe, you know, just all the awkward handshakes and the moments that just stick in your brain forever. But God bless her soul for helping me avoid future mistakes. Uh, this, this character is based off my sister. Um, she has a really good memory and it's always getting me into trouble. So our next character is called Loathing. I have a lot of that directed at myself. It causes me to compare myself to other people and I tend to get really bitchy about it. I feel like I, I always feel like I'm not doing as well as I should, and in a sense, it's kind of like OCD. But loathing um, keeps me on my toes and strives for me to be better and greater than myself. Uh, he reminds me to put effort into things and like motivates me to keep going at them as well. Also, he likes wearing heels. 
because he's fabulous. So I don't know why, but when I showed the finished drawing to my mum, she said she loved the version of myself in the drawing. I didn't really know what she meant, but I guess she meant loathing as me. So I guess loathing is me? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so on to not joy. Uh, this rendition of joy is called ecstasy because she's like a drug. When you're happy, it feels wonderful. It's like you're high. Please don't think of me as a drug addict. <laughs> but with ecstasy, I don't get very much of it. My happiness is somewhat limited, but when I am happy, wow, it feels great. And I feel like I could be the life of the party. I feel more confident, more enthusiastic as ever. I feel like I could do anything, but ec ecstasy is somewhat shy. She doesn't come out of her shell that often, which, I wish she did. Uh, this character is sort of based on my mum. Um, she's a fiery redhead and she's always so encouraging and inspiring to others. That's why I'm a mama's boy. I'm a mama's boy and I'm proud of it. So this character is sort of like a shy punk. She's always ready for a party but doesn't really know how to get herself going. And she always wears the most hip things and that's the part she's definitely confident about. Now onto not anger. As a kid I had a, I sort of had a lot of anger. I was always misunderstood because I didn't understand people and I, I took my frustrations out on others, which is which isn't good. It's not it's not a good thing. I was a stubborn little boy, but um, that's definitely changed now, I hope. <laughs> so I sometimes um, took take out my frustrations at the gym now. Uh, I try to focus on my anger at, with lifting weights and uh, doing cardio. So that's why my character, this character looks like a bodybuilder. So when I'm angry, I'm mostly just annoyed because being angry just really is a waste of time and it doesn't do much good for me. If I get angry, then I get depressed. So so this that's why this guy, I'm going to call this guy Annoyance. So this guy, so Annoyance is based on one of my best friends. Um, <laughs> he annoys the heck out of me, but um, he sort of taught me to be patient and to um, always like think straight, think ahead and always just try not to not to get angry. Also my friend always encourages me to go to the gym which makes makes me happy a lot. He always pushes me when I don't feel like going and everyone needs that someone that like that always encourages you you know to give a shit like they're like just come on man just go for it and it's like Later on, you feel so much better afterwards. Now our next character is not fear. This sort of fear is a little bit laid back. For me, I, mm, I don't really fear something on the spot that often. I mean, I, I worry about the next electric bill and I worry about the cavities in my teeth, but I sort of try to worry about them when the time arises. You could say I'm mostly apprehensive. Uh, that's why my apprehensive looks like an old man. <laughs> because my fear is mostly directed towards being older. It kind of sounds like kind of sounds like I'm not worrying about things that need to be dealt with in the present, which makes me sound a bit lazy, a bit of a lazy guy. Probably right, but it's just how I feel. It's like it's like annoyance, but the opposite. I I'm trying to be more fearful and confront my fears in the present rather than set rather than set them aside for the future. Wow, that was, that was way more in-depth than... That was way more deep than I thought. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Apprehensive is based on my dad. Just the character design, not the emotion. <laughs> uh, my dad, he's always a relaxed and cheerful sort of guy, and I sort of admired him for that. Um, but he, he freaks out a lot, which is hilarious to watch. He freaks out, like, at the most weirdest things and it's just so funny um maybe the f maybe the fear is based on my dad <laughs> i don't know i'm confused but anyway i just subconsciously base this character on my dad and um yeah he just always wears like the funkiest stuff which i love so we're nearing the end 
All I'm doing is putting a, a, a little bit of a background so that they have something to sit on. I hope you enjoyed this. This video was very much about me. <laughs> I mean, it's always about me. It's always about me. Me, 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 me. It was fascinating to learn that I'd put my family and friends in here, which I totally didn't mean to do. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching and listening to all my bullshit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>